Hello, this is Austin Braun from Funtime Campers doing a walkthrough on the Riverside RV Retro, uh, the model 135. This one is the Silver Series, so it has the silver exterior skin with the black trim. Gives it more of a modern look for the, the retro name. Um, but uh, this tiny little thing packs in quite a bit. Um, it's amazing everything they can squeeze in this tiny little box. It's just the right, perfect layout. Um, you might be asking yourself, where the heck is the door? It's usually on this side here. Well, on this one in particular, it is all the way in the very back. So it gives it more of a truck camper feel, traditional truck camper floor plan, but in a very small, very compact travel trailer. Uh, this particular unit is 15 feet, 9 inches overall length, including the A-frame, so we call it ball to bumper. Um, and this has an unloaded weight of uh, just over 2,500 pounds. Um, so a lot of vehicles, minivans, and six-cylinder SUVs will be able to pull this no problem. Um, usually a lot of those are rated for 3,500 pounds. So you've got about 1,000 pounds to work with there for most vehicles. Uh, you see you've got the uh, scissor stabilizer jacks here in the very back. Um, you've got the furnace exhaust here, and then you've got an outlet, standard uh, 110 outlet there. An exhaust um, for your uh, refrigerator and access panel. With the Silver Series, you get the aluminum wheels. Uh, you got a nice big slider window there. Um, you do have outside speakers up underneath your electric awning. Um, you do have a huge pass-through storage area for a smaller unit like this. That's all underneath the main bed on the inside. You can see it goes all the way across there with a second door on that side. You've got LED lighting. Um, all the interior and exterior is LED. Um, it comes with a battery and a propane tank here. Um, not on there currently, but it does come with them. You've got the electric tongue jack, so it saves you a lot of cranking up and down to uh, hook and unhook it from the vehicle. Come around on the uh, other side here, you've got another window. It's a fire exit, fire safety window. The other uh, door for your pass-through storage. You've got your fresh water tank fill there on top. City water connection down below. Your six gallon uh, hot water heater. It does have an electronic ignition for the inside. Um, so you can light, flip the switch and light itself. Um, you've got ex exterior shower here, hot and cold water in the uh, in the box there. And then you've got your black tank flush here, so you can clean out the black tank as you flush it out. Um, range exhaust up there. Solar power hookup. And you've got your cable hookup underneath here. Cable hookup. And you've got your main power input. Still 30 amp. 110 volt. You've got your uh, sewer connection underneath here. So you've got two separate tanks, but you do have a black tank and a gray tank on board. Um, again, you've got the screen door, like we're used to seeing. And then it's pre-wired for uh, your backup camera. Rear entry here, as soon as you go into your right, you're going to have a six cubic foot refrigerator. Separate door um, for the freezer. You've got your... Uh, You've got your uh, fire extinguisher here. You've got your propane furnace down there, and it is thermostat controlled. Uh, we have the uh, radio on here. Uh, speaking of that, you do have the. Uh... So I'm trying to turn this off. Well, at least get the music off for now. Bluetooth stereo to go with your outside speakers. Um, it does have auxiliary and uh, USB and HDMI inputs, um, and it's also a radio. You've got two inside speakers and then two outside speakers. Um, LED lights, an outlet under here. Uh, there's your thermostat for your furnace we talked about. Storage up here, storage on the other side of the radio. Um, and as soon as you walk in the door here to the left, you've got the dry bath, which in this size of the unit is pretty incredible. Um, you've got the toilet separate from the showers, what the dry bath means, meaning they're not all combined into one. Uh, it's nice and bright in here. You see you do have the skylight to provide some natural light, and you do have a uh, vent up here with a fan in it keep the moisture flowing um, outside. Um, you do have the TV that's included on this particular unit um, mounted on the wall there, and it does pull out and swivel so you can see it from the couch um, or you can see it from the bed. Um, so you've got the uh, control panel here again, which we kind of saw on another one, uh, but it gives you levels on how full your battery, your fresh, your black tank, um, and your gray tanks are. And you've got light switches, your awning switch here. Uh, like I said, it is electric, so you just push it in and out. Your water heater and your water pump switches there. 
Um, coming on down here a bit, you've got the two burner stove. You've got two drawers and a storage cabinet. Um, so it's nice kitchen storage for again a unit this small. Full extension ball bearing drawer guides. Both of these. You've got your power converter down here. All your breakers and fuses again. You've got your propane. I just realized my last video cut me off. <laughs> it was getting long there, so I'm um, doing another video here. I uh, kind of picking up where we left off. Uh, you've got the full microwave here. You've got the hood vent. Um, you do have some additional storage for your kitchen area up here. Um, coming in the very front of the unit, you've got a uh, shelf up here for some clothes storage. Um, you do have some additional clothes storage down here. Um, both of these um, open up. Now you do have a USB charging port up there for 12 volt. You also have a 110 outlet. Um, you've got your queen bed um, up here in the very front. Um, you've got some LED lighting underneath the shelf there. A smoke alarm. Um, you do have your couch. Gives you a place to sit and hang out, put shoes on and off, and hang out on a rainy day right across from your TV there. Um, the couch does fold down into a, an additional sleeping space. And then you do have some storage underneath your couch as well. It'll certainly come in handy. Um, so we've got the Riverside RV Retro 135 um, here for you. You can see it packs quite a punch for a small unit. Um, for the weight and the price this thing is in, we think it's going to be a solid, uh, solid unit for us. We do have two of these currently in stock. Um, both 2020 models um, So let us know if you have any questions or comments anything we can help you with we're always happy to um, Just reach out to us here at fun time campers here in Indianapolis, Indiana And uh, we're always happy to help. Oh one thing I forgot to mention real quick before I leave the uh, air conditioner on the roof there You do have 13,500 BTU uh, Roof mount air conditioner there. Um, so that'll certainly keep you cold on any hot day Pumps out a lot of cold air for this size of unit. So feel free to reach out if there's anything we can do.